Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Merrick's Garage. Coming to you from the beautiful Eastern Sierras. I didn't get a video up last week for you guys, I'm sorry. But I was scrambling to get out of town with my family for spring break. We have had a fantastic time just being together and exploring this wonderful state of California. And I love spending time up here and it's given me some time to reflect on what I want for this channel, where I think it's going and uh, what I hope to deliver to you guys. So that said, there are some changes coming up, changes that I think you guys will like. I'm gonna be producing more videos on trips. The truck is done and I'm happy with where it stands right now. So until I do the rear legs, I'm gonna be taking this thing all over the place. And I hope to be bringing along a good friend of mine who has a deep, deep history in video production, video editing, sound, framing, locations, all that stuff. So I ask that you would be patient with me as we roll out some of these changes and nuances. You're probably just gonna notice more videos and the more higher quality videos. But give me feedback. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. YouTube is constantly changing its algorithm as to how it promotes videos, and I really don't pay that much attention to it. I figure if I keep producing stuff that you guys want, and ultimately keep producing stuff that I like to produce, that everything else will fall into place. So, communicate with me. Tell me what you like, don't like, what you want to see, what you don't need to see, what you want more of. You get it. With that said, I've got a cool video for you guys today. We're going to take a deep dive into my nocturnal welding axle cradle and welding table. This is a fantastic piece of kit that I know will be an asset in anyone's shop. Whether you just need a welding table or whether you're doing an axle conversion or a links conversion or anything like that. So check out the video, hit me down below, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that share. Let's grow this channel together and I can't wait to meet you guys out on the trails. Merrick's Garage, let's go! Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Merrick's Garage. Today, we're taking a look at my welding table slash axle cradle slash vice slash workstation slash fabrication pod that is my nocturnal welding table. This thing has proven indispensable to me during the build of my truck. And I wanna share with you guys a lot of the cool features that we've built into this thing and tell you how you guys can get your own. Mary's Garage, come along. This axle cradle, which is currently presented to you as a welding table, was absolutely integral to getting that project off the ground, getting the axle in place, and getting it all set up. The, the reality is, I'm a one-man show, and I, I don't know if I could have done this without having my axle cradle. The amount of times that you're lifting the axle, lowering the axle, moving the axle around, bringing it back into the shop, and the thing weighs like 600, 700 pounds. You put the tires on it and you're pushing probably a thousand pounds. So this is something that I definitely needed some mechanical leverage on, and this axle cradle served that purpose. Now when Elijah first came to me, it was in its um, infancy in the fact that it was just an axle cradle. It was something that you could put the axle on while you were working on it in your garage. As we started using it, we were able to see where we could improve it, what we could do to make it a little bit better, and ultimately make it more functional and um, serve more purposes in your home shop than just being an axle cradle that only gets used occasionally. While you're doing the actual axle swap, it's gonna come in tremendously useful. Afterwards, it may just collect dust or get loaned out to a friend. So I wanted to figure out a way that we could utilize this, uh, this rigid infrastructure we have in the axle cradle and put it to use in other aspects and needs around my shop. The most glaring need I had was a welding table. I didn't have anything to weld on other than the ground, which doesn't conduct electricity that well. And so this welding table became clutch. It's a comfortable seating height for me. It provides a base for my, uh, for my vise. It's made out of steel, so I just clamp my ground strap onto it and weld whatever is on here. It has been a huge, huge addition to me, and the fact that this is the axle cradle that I use repeatedly is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this down for you guys so you can see it in its rough format, which is the axle cradle. Obviously, this can all be interchanged and stowed and 
put flat away, but I use this thing all the time. So I'm going to take it down right now. I'm going to do it in real time, and uh, you guys can see how long it's going to take. Space is always limited in the home shop. Now, don't get me wrong. I am very grateful to have a garage to work out of. There was many years where I didn't have a garage, and I, you know, do the street thing. But having a garage, a two-car garage, does have its drawbacks, namely space. I don't have space to put a lot of the big tools that I would love to have. I'd love to have a 20-ton press. I'd love to have a brake. I'd love to have a big tubing bender. I'd love to have a big, massive welder. I just can't dedicate a corner of my garage to a piece of equipment that's going to see periodic use when I have tools and things that get daily use. The axle cradle was one of those parts that I was concerned about, uh, which is why we designed it so that it could break down and slide and not take up any space. But after looking at it and using it and seeing how useful it really was for moving heavy things around the garage, namely the axles, I recognized we had to be able to maximize uh, the usefulness of this tool more frequently. That was when we decided that we're going to start offering different options for the upright towers. We can change these out so you could put a big flat pad on here and turn it into a transmission jack. Uh, we could change it out so it can be used for a transfer case jack. But I think the coup de grace was adding the uh, sheet up on top, turning it into a welding table. This product has just become part of my workflow now. My projects move from the ground to the table, then the table rolls out to the driveway. I've got everything on the table, including the part that I'm installing, my tools. I can put it in the vise and manipulate it. I can weld on the table. And with the wheels, it rolls anywhere I need it to go. It's truly become an absolutely necessary part of my workflow in my garage. And I know it is going to be useful to you guys. Uh, we put a lot of time, effort, energy, uh, and thought into making a product that is going to work for you guys. There's no bells and whistles on here beyond what it needs to do its job. It is purely function. But that function, it does incredibly well. Most modern jacks are now going to come with a, uh, a saddle that you can remove. This is just a 10 millimeter Allen key that uh, you unbolt the jack saddle and you bolt the pinion support on the axle cradle directly to it. Uh, I've tested this out repeatedly with the Dana 60. That when you are doing axle conversion or you're doing a links conversion, you will be moving that axle from full bump to full droop many, many, many times. I've said it before and I'll say it again. For a tool to find its home in my garage, it either needs to be exemplary at what it does or it needs to have many functions that it does well. This welding table, axle cradle, is one of those pieces. Yeah, I could stow it and leave it in the corner and never use it, but why would I do that when it is so functional and so helpful to my workflow? I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. I'm just gonna build that myself. Merrick's Garage has taught me to just do it myself. Well, dude, right on. If you do, more power to you. I'm stoked. And uh, I hope it comes out good because it is a very useful tool. For those of you who uh, may not be as ambitious or you want to be spending your time wrenching, not making, well, that's why we have this table. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you guys aren't seeing that went into the production of this. This is the fifth prototype that we came up with. Now, it wasn't until later generations that I thought, this is a bitchin' tool as an axle cradle, but what are people gonna do with it after they're done? Which is when the idea of a welding table came up. I have used this so much, and not just for welding, for any type of heavy work that I'm doing, it's great to have a workbench that I can roll out into my driveway. So I think we've made a very usable tool here. You can try and replicate it and copy it, but you know, I, I doubt you're going to have success on your first try. Uh, maybe the fifth. So thank you for watching. Check the show notes down below. That will have all the information on where you can pick one of these up and how much they cost. Or you can just hit me up, james at merricksgarage.com, and I can get you connected. Peace.